What's up, people? What's up, y'all? We are back here. Today's edition of Alpha Nation. Let me tell you something, man. I couldn't wait to get back here at the Miracle Theater, man. <laughs> two, two fans of mine. I'm fans of theirs. Man, let me tell you something. It took a lot to get these cats down here. <laughs> For the cameras today. It took a lot to get these dudes down here, right? So without me saying anything, I want to get right into it, man. I want to get go. right Let's into go. it. Uh, to, to my left here, host of Showtime at the Apollo, as well as All Deaf, Deaf Jam. Yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> this cat here took me on the road, comedy specials. I don't want to. I don't want to make the the, the the sitcom. All of us. All of all us. of us. All of us. This is what we're here doing right now. Produced by Will Smith. Don't of course. Leave that part out. Don't I'm, leave that I'm, part I'm out. I'm going to go off for the list. <laughs> yeah. I got to. Apollo. Yes. yes. Got to put that out there. Executive produced by Jamie Foxx. That, that, those two seasons. Yeah. Tony Rock Project. Yes. The one and only Tony Rock. Can I clap? Yeah. yeah. This is it, bro. I will clap for myself. I deserve it. got to clap. What's up, brother? Yes, Appreciate sir, you, brother. man. Thank you for having me. Glad you coming on the Yes, yes. Love you should actually, intro, you should have intro me first, actually. How am I going to follow that? <laughs> you got to follow. <laughs> Yours is dope, too. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm dope. You know, but we together, though. We, we together. together. We, yeah, we, 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 we together. like Voltron. Yes, yes, this yes, is what yes. Alpha Nation is. We men. So yes. I got to, you yes, know how sir. we do it. We just do it whatever. When your number is called, you go to work. That's what's up. So this cat right here, brilliant comic. Ruby Tuesdays, founder, CEO of Ruby Tuesdays. Yes, sir. As well as... That's Ruby, R-U-B-E-E. -E. Wait, it's not the restaurant, it's the comedy it's night. The comedy, comedy night, night. Yeah. right. Yeah. See, I'm a comic, so I can say it, right? Yes. But they are absolutely right. But the viewers will be like, he own Ruby Tuesdays? Ruby Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah, you know how niggas yeah. <laughs> that, that nigga make a lot of money and shit. He right? make white people money. And so, <laughs> this cat you know here. the nigga that own Ruby Tuesdays is a black dude? <laughs> <laughs> this cat here writes for... DL, Russell Peters, George Lopez. Yes. These cats come to Ruby Tuesdays just for him. The one and only Carson, California, yes, Ruben Paul. Hey. Stop my say, bro. Stop my say, man. Uh, let me first and foremost, uh, thanks for having me and Tone. I'm saying it on behalf of both yes, of us. Yes. And you know yeah. we really fuck with you. For coming out during a pandemic, because this nigga Tony ain't left the house Yo, since March. I haven't had, I haven't had pants on since March. <laughs> I took the Yo. sweatpants off, put pants on. Like, oh, this feel weird. I didn't even see my guy, so I'm like, Yo, dude. He be like, Hey, man, I'm in the crib, man. I'm, in the Let me crib. Tell you, I'm talking to you with a mask on right now. I'm like, Nigga, you at home and got a mask Look, on? I'm gonna tell you what happened. I seen, I seen him before the pandemic. We was doing Ruby Tuesdays, mm -hmm. and Rock was up top. He was like, get him, Grady, get him, nigga. I'm like, man, that's rock. You don't yell. You don't want nobody to, you don't want to, you're going to fuck up the surprise. Go back in the green room, nigga. <laughs> and so I say to this cat here, man, rock, you, uh, I like to give cats that I respect, I like to give them their flowers. Right, right, right. You was one of the cats that was like, yo, you, you didn't bullshit when you was like, yo, man, we got to do something. We got to go get on the road. Because you, you know, you, you kind of, you kind of hard sell now. He'd be like, hey, man, go, go fuck with Rocky. Get on the, you know, yeah. Rock the Mic tour and, you know, get out there. And Tony yeah. Rock is like, I don't like these comments. I like my boys. And you the first yeah, guy yeah, that yeah. taught me about, you know, cats being manageable on tour. Right. Right. So right. when you saw me perform at the comedy store, that's my favorite club. right? Yes. And you was doing the Tony Rock Project. And then you kept saying, like, yo, let's do something. Let's do something. Let's do something. So quick little short story, y'all. This dude here. We in Dayton, 
<laughs> we oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You we, was doing another club. I was doing another you club. You wasn't working with me that uh, weekend. I wasn't working right, with right, you. Right, right, right. So we in Dayton, right? So, Rue, we in Dayton. I'm I doing see. the Funny Bone. He's and doing, what was the name of that it club? It was called The Lish or something. Okay. It was called The Lish. Mark Gregory, uh, Dick Gregory's nephew, got gotcha. a club. You know, had a show. So I go down there, and I'm just having fun, doing what I do. And then I leave. They, I was like, what a hole in the wall. They like, man, you got to go to the, to the club. It's only one club in Dayton. Mm -hmm. at, that, at that time, it was right, on a right, Sunday right, night. Right, 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 right. So I see, I see this nigga literally like a block and a half. I don't know how he saw me. He's like, Grady. So I'm looking like, who? Who are you? He's like, it's Rock, homie. I'm like, Rock, I can't hear him. I can't hear him to get close. I'm like, oh, it's Tony Rock with about 15 niggas. That's tall. I'm like, wait a minute. Why is he with all of the niggas, right? So they're like, Grady, what's up? What's up? I'm like, oh, I knew a couple other cats was comics. He's like, come on, you good. Come on, you, you, you here, you here, you here, right? Yeah. We end up staying at the same hotel. We get in the, the club. It was a diner. They flip it at night. It was night a diner. Time. They turned into a club. They right. turned yes. into a club. Yes. Soon as we get in, we get in, you know, his section. He's like, come on, you with me, man. You know you with me, whatever. Get in that motherfucker. They start whooping some dude ass. But hold up, but he, can I stop you? You got that? to stop. So the club. You got to stop. The, cl the nightclub was a converted diner. So if you know how diners are set up, there's glass. There's windows to look in a restaurant. A club is more, yeah. you know, isolated and, no and, and private. Yeah, no one. The diner, glass. So we walk in. And we get the table set up mm -hmm. right at a glass, right here. It's a yeah. glass here, but we sitting here, and some dude is on some gangster shit, like he walking in and he not getting frisked and he not having it. Oh. And security stomps him out right there. Yo. So we at the glass looking through, like it's watch, like oh, wow. watching it on TV. Yeah, watch oh, wow. And we just watching him get stomped out by security, like, man, I don't know what that dude did, but he having a <laughs> bad night. Again. But here's the thing, when you first said the story and said it was a fight, I immediately thought oh, yeah. Tony was involved with the fight. Oh, I got one of them. Cause that, I got one of them. Cause that isn't an I got unusual thing. Yo, 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 that isn't an unusual thing <laughs> Wait. to happen when yo, you're yo, out with Let Tony me Rock. rewind this whole thing. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna talk for a while. Let's yes. see, it feel like one of those nights. We go, cameraman, I hope you got a lot of battery. But here's the thing, I wanna rewind the whole thing. Come on. So, when I first started going out on the road, I realized that comedy club owners, comedy club owners, and that still stands to this day, and you will agree, Comedy club owners don't care about the show. They don't care about the quality Facts. of the show. Facts. Okay. Yeah. They sure. care about two drink minimum food. and asses in seats mm -hmm. and, and who bought food. Yeah. They don't care if the show is a quality experience for the audience. Not at all. Right? Yes. We all agree with that. Yes. I care if the audience gets a quality experience yes. because, I'm, because I'm the headliner. Yes. yes. So I don't want them walking away like, yo, Tony was good, but Everybody the other else. two dudes before him was ass. Was yeah. ass. Yeah. And what I saw was that they could pay lesser comics, less money. Mm -hmm. So I fought for a few years to get to bring my own feature. Okay. Because at least if they, if they put a local on for the host, the feature I bring is going to be A1 well, top choice killer. Yeah, yeah. And just as, a, as, as far as I'm concerned, I like to be pushed as well. Yeah. So I want a feature that's going to go out there and body the room. Yeah. Just so I could go, all right, well, let me see if I can get it now. Absolutely. Let me see if I can get it after that dude. Yeah. Very many comics out here go on the road and they take a host or a feature that is way beneath their Absolutely. standard. Okay. So that when they get on, they look so much better. Yeah. Okay. And we're not going to name names, but we all know yeah, comics who do that. Well, well, just so hold on, hold on, one second. Yeah, yeah. So when I saw you at the comedy store that first night, yeah. I was like, yo, this dude is dope. Yeah. Like a very unique style of stand-up, not like very many people in L.A. especially. You, you, can, you know that. Yes. You know what you do is yeah. unique to mm -hmm. this Region. Yes. Maybe in Chicago might be another cat kind of similar. Maybe in New York might be a dude that's as, 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 as offensive and as, as that, Likeable, that pushes the offensive. envelope yeah. like you do. Yeah. But in LA, not very many. Yeah. So when I saw you that night, I was like, okay, I don't know what he's doing as far as like on the road and mm -hmm. right. and network and industry. Yeah. But I that's a cat I could take on the road and, and be comfortable with. Yeah. The fact that he's going to do what he does for that 25 minutes he's on before me. Yes. So when I said to you, we should do something, that's yeah. what it was. That was the seed. Like, was the seed. I should go out with him or take him out with me. So I know that for 25 minutes before I get on, the room is not going, oh, man, where Tone yeah. at? Yeah. 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 And, and that's just, what I do. And to validate that, I told you the last time when we, we did mm -hmm. the show together, I found out about you through Tony. Word. Yeah. So Tony's the one who told me about you. He's like, yo, have you ever seen this dude named Grady? And I'm like... Nah, and he's like, yo, he's mad funny. Same with some of the things he's saying here. And I know Tony is being, me and, we're brothers, man. We, right. we, so right. 
I know how picky he is about. Right, right. Very I'm, a, I'm a comedy who, snob. Yes, I'm a you comedy are, snob man. about yes, who you opens are. up for him. And here's here's what's hard about working with him. He's not only a comedy snob, he's a character snob. Mm. So if you don't have good character, he ain't gonna fuck with you. You might get one date with him. Right, right. But after right. that date is a weekend. Go yeah, if you you might get one weekend with him or whatever. Right. But if you're not funny and a quality human being. You done. He could be an asshole. Yeah. But hold up. Let me tell you something. Here's another story. Oh, this, yeah. is I, this is when I said, okay, me and Grady going to be on the road for a while. We was in Orlando. Miami. No, we was Orlando. in Orlando. Oh, shit. We was in Orlando. <laughs> and he's kind of a quiet dude yeah. to people he don't know, which, yeah. which, which I am. Yeah. But, but I've been in these cities, you know, several times. By yourself. By yeah. myself. By yourself. So I know the, pl I know the club promoter. Yeah. I know the bottle girls. Yeah. I know the dude who does the night here. You know the arts. Right. So yeah. I'm, so I'm kind of, <laughs> they know me. <laughs> so I'm in, a, I'm in a club one night with Grady, right? I'm in a club one night with Grady. We do the show. We kill him. We go out to party afterwards. And the promoter's there like, yo, Rock, I got you. Your sex is set up. Your bottle set up. Yes. You know, the minimum. Like, you know, you know what we do. Come on, man. And Grady's there. And he's just being his quiet <laughs> self. But that's my man. So I let everybody... I want everybody to be in their natural environment. 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 Yeah, yeah. So that's what you do. You quiet your cat. Yeah. It's quiet. You sit over there bet. All yeah. right. And he's just quiet the whole night. And it's this chick walking past the table and she's doing a little look in the section like, let's see who's in the VIP section. Oh, they got Tony Rock up there. Oh, and I'm, yeah, like, nah. I'm like, damn, this bitch is cold. Yo, what's up? Yo, shorty, you haven't drinking me. Yo, what you doing? Yo, what you, why you over there in, in, in population? Come in, come in VIP, yo, whatever you need. We got, we got whatever you need. I'm going harder. And she's like, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm like, yo, it ain't, no, it ain't no better choice in here. But the kid, baby, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is. Like, it's, everything else is lesser than over, over there. You know what I'm saying? She's still, she's, uh, I don't know. I don't. Son, end of the night. Now, I bag a chick. I bag a different chick. Yes. End yes, of the night, I'm like, yo, shorty, you want to roll? We going back to the room. You said, all right, I'll go. Boom, I'm holding her hand, walking out. I'm like, let me make sure my man Grady good. I'm like, yo, I'm waiting outside the club. Yo, we Grady at? Grady come walking out with the chick that I was trying to get. I'm like, yo, hold up, fam. You didn't say a word to her. Y'all didn't talk at all the whole night. Grady's like, yo, rock, you ready to go, you ready? Yo, you, you, you going to eat? You going to the room? I said, yo, I can fuck with this cat right here. Less is more. He didn't say a word to the chick. He just sat there with the beard. He let his beard be talking. The whole night, his beard, his beard was like, hey, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? You see what's over here? We over here. Yo, and he lifted up the glass at one point, once. At one point, his bed, like as a piece of his bed came out, was like, <laughs> and went back in. Yeah, the, the, man. And I said, yo, I rock with this cat, man. Yeah, we haven't had that experience so yet. So listen, so, 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 Rue, we in, that was Orlando. That was Orlando, Empire. right, yeah. We great, go to the party. Room, by the way. Great oh, yeah, room. great room. So yeah. we go to the Bank of America building, Kid Capri. Yes, yes. DJ. Yes, yes, yes. Got the whole yes. Bank of America building, the, yes. you know, the foyer, whatever. Big ass party, everybody out in the street. It looked like carnival or something. It's that many people yeah. in the street. Yeah. And they in the, you know, so it's fun as a motherfucker, right? So when I tell you, nigga, all them girls, and I was like, yo, we going over here, come on. And then I was like, hold on, who with you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so I grabbed them girls, like, come on, let you come, then the rest of your girls come. So it was like six of them. So Rock, like, Face like, yo, what the fuck are you guys? I said, no, I just tell you, hey, we, we, we in town, come on. <laughs> That's it. You ain't coming to my room, you ain't doing none of that. Come on, we're gonna eat, we're gonna drink, whatever, whatever. And so we had a good time. Yeah. So the time we in motherfucking Miami. Wait, backstory, that was the whites. My, 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 my cousin, homie, day one dude, uh, was my manager for a few years as well. Face. It, was, it was his birthday weekend. Oh, mm -hmm. now continue. White. So we down there. I think play or live or something. One of the one of the clubs down in Miami. We down there, Rue. It's packed. You know, it's uncomfortable. That night, what you talking about was live. That was live. live. That night, yeah. So it's so crowded. Like if you move like this, you'd have I, lost your space. I already know. I already so know. when I tell you, so I got on a black kufi. I got on all black. I got on black jeans. I got on BDU boots. <laughs> they looking like, okay, he got to be either Nation Islam. Or something. Who is he? They don't know. I'm a comic. So I garbed up and everything. So I walk around. So, you know, I can't be in. I'm going to tell you, we go to the club. Yeah. I'm not going to sit and be out. He'll walk away. He'll be like, you're talking about that. He'll just float. Oh, really? He'll the float. action yeah. is outside the fucking yeah. room. He'll float. I'm not sitting. We got, a different, we got a different mentality about VIP. So this dude, right, having a good time, they give him the big ass rock peach on the lap. Tony, this person I've ever seen, nigga, grown nigga, stand 
on the couch. Oh, that's what he does. I said, wait, that's why what he the does. fuck is he on the couch? That's what like, he does. Get off the couch. That's, that's what, what I'm he thinking. does. I can't say nothing, right? Because <laughs> it's my man, right? He gave me opportunity this weekend. So it's so many people, right? So face is talking to some chick, some Cuban bra. Yeah. So the Cuban yeah, he bra. Was in her ear. So the Cuban bra, she giving flow. She like, yeah, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever. Some say, Grady, move. I look and I get up out of VIP. Her dude is over there. Yes. True story. When I say like on some fat Joe shit. Okay? True story, son. So I said, he looked dangerous. Let me get out of here and check dude. Check. <laughs> All yeah. I do is just walk out and just, you know, what's up, big dog? Yeah. He's like, what's up, homie? So then, next you know, shit gets to, she dancing, whatever. She dancing all on face. Yeah. Dude, he told the security, he just looked at security like, you know me. He parted the club, walks over there, tell the chick like, whoa, 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 like, what you doing with him? That's his wife. Whoa. That's his wife. That's right, right there. That's listen, his, listen, listen, listen. That's his wife, right? So I said, okay, well, we about to get killed in here. Because if I come with you, I'm leaving with you. Yeah. Right? So where I got his people, me, Rod, and Dwight. And I'm like, okay. And then the other guys that's with him, I'm like, okay, he ain't gonna fight. He might go hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we gotta get out of here. I just wanna go to the hotel. I just wanna go to sleep. Now I don't wanna party. Yeah. I don't want to go to the, you know, because he party, you know how he is. Uh, come on, he man. He party 24 hours. I'm about to tell right, you, you know some stories. I'm about to tell you some stories. So story. when I tell you, some said, Grady, just talk to dude. I say, oh gee. Hey man, we from LA, we hit comics, man. We gotta do a show. He's like, yeah, but your man danced with my wife. I said, Rock, let's go. <laughs> Rony <laughs> jumps <laughs> off the fucking no, couch. The dude had his people. They like surrounding the wife. I'm, I'm standing, just it's, the couch, I'm standing right here yeah, on, on the Cubans. couch. Yeah. Table here, bottles full of table, table full of bottles. White's over there. Mm -hmm. So when I see his dude surround the white, son, mm -hmm. from here, from he here, jumps. I jump over like the, the table. The long jump in the. <laughs> like that, he but, jumps like, like what's up? I was like, lands in the middle. Like, Yo, what we doing? What's good? What I'm we, like, oh, he's popping? serious. So we get down there back to back. Like, man, we going this. I'm like, rock. Let's True go. story. I made everybody that was with him get the fuck off the couch. Let's get the fuck out of here, right? So everybody like, yo, this nigga Grady crazy. I'm like, no, survival tactic. Let's get out of here. We get up out of here. <laughs> then we see Tony going across the street. I'm like, I remember. Holy shit, Miami Vice, they had the alligators. Tony walking towards the water with the alligators. They might snatch his <laughs> ass. I'm like, Rock, get your ass away from the alligators, bite you. <laughs> He's sitting there. <laughs> he like, yo, I'm good, son, I'm good, son. I'm like, no, no, get your ass over here, man. You finna get bit by them alligators, right? <laughs> I'm scared of the alligators because I seen the Miami Vice. You know the intro. Stop saying alligators, nigga. Stop. This nigga keeps saying alligators. I don't care about the Cuban mafia. I care about the fucking alligators, nigga, right? So I'm like, man, they ain't got no hoverboard thing. You know, they put the fan on the back. It's midnight. This motherfucker is over there in the water. I'm thinking he. I'm yeah, like, hey, I'm just living there. You shit. know, live right there. Live yeah, right there. I know. I'm blue. The beach right there. So yo, I'm walking to the beach. So scared. Get some air. We have a yeah, wild night. Let me get some yes, air. Yes, sir. I yes, said, Tony, sir. come on, man. I, I want to go to the room, G. Let's get up out of here. He's like, come on. We're good, yo. We're good, yo. And that motherfucker got, we got into the, the hotel. He was like, you doing Cleves. <laughs> He's like, yeah. you doing I'm Cleaves. like, yo, next week, Cleves. So, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you doing Cleves. Let, let, let me say this, man. The reason, why, the reason why I love both of y'all. You said something that you just can't gloss over in the very beginning when you said, we came together. We leaving together. They gonna get beat up. Yeah. Tony Rock, as a friend and as a brother, that's why we family, dude. Yeah. Mm. He'll never, he will never leave you hanging and mm. run from fighting. I'm gonna tell you a story. It's a crazy story. Come on. I had just gotten a brand new Cadillac CTS. Me oh and me and Tony, yeah, yeah. Me and Tony, photo, yeah, look cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, it's hey, nice. Nigga, My mama got the nigga. Copy. Quit saying it's cute, nigga. Right. It's I mean, lovely. Yo. It's elegant. Yeah, when you put the rims on it and, oh, and the tints and, and everything, it's beautiful. Nice. Yeah, what color was it? It's, it's beautiful. I, I had a special he color. Like a, he had like a gold. Like, it was like, it was like, like this a, color. No, it was I had like, like this. a mint, mint green. Yeah, yeah, color. it was real nice. Yo, yeah. to the point where I'd be at the gas station, people be like, yo. What is that? What is that? Oh, perfect. So, okay. I'm doing a spot at the Laugh Factory one night. Mm -hmm. Tony's, Tony's working on a TV show. We had just rapped. We, we, had, we were about but, to rap. We were about an hour away from rapping. Yeah, go, go. But it was late. 
And um, I was like, you know what? You're not comic star. I was like, yeah. you know, let me grab something to eat before I go home. <laughs> so, dude, I go down Sunset, and I'm about to go get something to eat at Wendy's. And before I can make a left turn, a car swerved and hit me. Like, swerved from the right lane to the left lane and hit me when I was about to make a left. Oh, wow. Okay. So they hit me, so I'm standing. These dudes hit me. They pull over to the side. And about six motherfuckers get out the car like a clown car. I'm like, where are all these motherfuckers coming <laughs> from? They jumping on my hood. They trying to rip the door open. I'm by myself on Sunset. And I'm like, yo. So I'm sitting there. And I go, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm a black man on Sunset. It's about midnight. Yeah. Some just, I call Tone. Tone hears them yell like, get out the phone, you fucking nigger. Get out the fucking car. Get out the fucking car. I'll beat your motherfucking ass. Tone's like, yo, what's that? I was like, yo, nigga, I'm sitting in my car. And I'm calm. Tone knows yeah, my yeah, voice yeah, is yeah, calm. Yeah. They, like, nigga, it's chaos outside my car. I thought, he, I thought it was joking because he was saying it so calmly. I was like, what are you, are you playing? He was like, Tone, I said, Dude, I'm sitting in my car. These dudes just hit me. And I hear the, in the background, fuck, yeah. you going to fuck you up. And I'm like, yo, what, you serious, bro? Listen to him. And like, yeah, they're going to get the fuck out the car. He's like, I'm sitting here. They jump, they on the hood of my car right now. I just go, Tony, <laughs> where you at? He's like, I'm on Sunset and. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on Sunset and La Brea. Tone was like, That's nigga. Cool. I'm on my way. <clears throat> this nigga was in the valley. I was at, uh, it, I was at uh, Sunset Gawa Studios. He got to me. What? It, I swear he got to me in 10 minutes, dude. Or less. Probably it, less than it that, felt, yeah. It felt less than yeah. that. These dudes is showboating or whatever. So I'm sitting there going, all right, I ain't got, I ain't got no strap on me. I ain't got nothing in the car. The car is new. Now, wait, let me stop you. So now I'm, on, I'm at Sunset Gawa Studios. <laughs> he calls me, says that I'm with... Rhea. Yes. I was dating Rhea at the time. Yes. So I'm sitting there with Rhea. her just like chilling with my, Shout my, out my to girl Rhea. at the time. Okay. <laughs> oh. Chilling, <laughs> chilling with my girl at the time. And Rube calls and I'm like, I just go, Rube, and I run to the car. So she's like, she knows something's up. I jump in the car and she starts following me in her car. She starts crying because she knows it's if going Rube down. calls and Tone runs that fast, something's up. Something's up, yeah. So she follows me. Yeah. And I drive to Sunset in La Brea and I see the dudes pull the cabbie to the side. I'm like, yo, let's go. What you want to do? You want to you knock these dudes out? Want me to hit him with the car? What you, yeah. Whatever you want to do, bro. So Tom pulls up, and the cops, I think, pulled up like yeah, a minute like, yeah. before Tom pulls up. Cops, you know, they right. don't want to hear my side of the story. They want to go to the pale faces and hear their, their yeah. side of the story yeah. first. Yeah. Long story short, they let, they let them go. Mm -hmm. Or some come out, they come, a couple of them have faded away. Like, it was like six of them. Yeah, they started walking away. So me and Tone are sitting there. I was like, yo, thanks for coming, dude, because, you know, it's one on six or whatever. But when Tone came, like, two of us. Even it out. Even it out. Even it out. Easy. So, uh. If they're not I, UFC. Plus, I came, with the, I came with the screeching and the noise and the. Yeah, so yo, they, dude. they didn't know. They was like, it might be two of them. You but might it, not even. Yeah. You, you might not even remember this. So my car was. Like, I could drive it, but I, it couldn't drive a car. Like, I needed to take it to a, oh, like a body yeah, shop. I remember. Or whatever. I remember, I remember. So Tone hops into the car with me. Right. He leaves his car there. And Tone goes, hey, I think these dudes is following us. I said, where? He's like, yeah. He said, let me tell you something. If we pull up to this light and them niggas are following us, we going to pull over. And it's about to be a brawl, nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. the, the funny thing is, they'll see it. See, let me tell you something. Look. Killers come with smiles. Let me tell you something. My man right here from Harlem, he know. <laughs> Brooklyn cats brawl. We brawl. Yeah. Win or lose, we gonna brawl. I'll never forget that. We gonna that. brawl. And you know, we were right by Pink's. On the brand. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, the yes, hot dog yes, spot. Yes. And I'm driving, he's like, I swear to you. Oh, no, like, no, 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 no. I, let me, let me, because I wanted to be 100% accurate. You were driving, the tow truck was behind me with my car, I was in your car, and you said, I think those dudes are following us. If they are, we're about to when pull we get, over. I said, we get to this corner, if they behind us, yeah. It's about to be a brawl. And from that moment on, I was like, yo, man, yo, he's this serious. is my dude. But this is the thing, if, you, if somebody, your friend, if somebody like, everybody like to throw around that all, yo, we down, we day ones and all that. This, me and this cat right here, and we're going to get back to the show because I don't want to make yeah, it all about... Show, I don't, yeah. don't, don't want to make it all Tony Rock stories. Yeah, no, no. I, I, the show, man. We got, the show. We, got, we got money together several times. We have fucked some of the baddest chicks in every city you can think of. That's, that's part of the game. Hey, several times, right? Part of the game. Yeah. 
We brawl together. Yeah. I can talk to him about anything. He can talk to me about anything. That's why when I tell people all the time, yo, Ruben's my brother. Blood couldn't make us any closer. Blood mm-hmm. couldn't make us closer. I mean it. Like we, we have been through every aspect of check this, check this for friendship. If you're, yeah. Your friend, have you done this? Yes. Yeah. Have you done this? Yes. Yeah. Has he told me, yo, son, you bugging the fuck out, calm down? Yes. Yeah. Have I told him the same thing? Yes. Yeah. Have I said, yo, son, I got an opportunity to get a bag. I'm going to bring you in on it. Yes. yes. Has he done it for me? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Has I been, have I been in a, in a situation where I said, yo, I'm about to fuck this dude up, and he got some people, and I need you with me, and he said, let's go? Yes. Yeah. Have, have I done the same for him? Yes. Like, yo, who, which dudes is with, with us? Which dudes against us? We going. Yeah. That's my brother for real, yo. The, 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 the crazy thing about Ruben. A lot of people don't know, Haitians don't bullshit. <laughs> people can say what they want. Haitian niggas is serious. Gotta be. Right? After they beat Spain and Italy. France, France. France, France don't leave whatever France country out. it was. France, they, beat the shit, they beat the shit out there. And, but the crazy thing was, Ruben. For, for 10 years. It was a 10-year fucking war to beat them out of there. Damn. What, did y'all through paying them? What's up? Well, y'all through paying we, them? We just finally, uh, they extorted Haiti for like, a few billion dollars or some shit like that, and they just got finished paying them. So, is that, so since you hate you, since we're going to go here, now we can, you know, we okay. got through the particulars. <clears throat> you think that's why? Because I always thought, like, why don't nobody go help Haiti? I see all the commercials in Africa with the little kids with the flies on the face, the little nappy head, little yeah. boy, you know, the babies and all that. How come they don't never help Haiti? Well, well you got to understand, man, even when you saw, like, different countries, like the Cubans on the rafts coming to... Miami, mm-hmm. and they were welcomed in for asylum and everything. Yeah. And I remember th- that situation where Haitians were trying to come to Miami, and they pushed them motherfuckers right back into the water. So I just think a lot of times, because of Haiti's rich history of yeah. fighting white supremacy yeah. and winning, and them extorting us, like you said, when we beat the French, what people don't realize, the reason why Haiti had to pay the money, because all these other countries were joining up with France, so like, we will take up, we'll colonize this. We'll know. come up together, yeah. and we will, we will take it over. And Haiti was like, we'll pay you, time out, everybody go their separate way. But that's, what, no, but, 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 but that's what it is. If you think about it, like what you just said about Haiti, yeah. my uncle told me years, I'm, I'm talking about like childhood, the black man has it so hard in America come on. because the black man is the only one that fought back and stood up to the white man. Mm. Wow. Asians came here, they got a foot in their ass, they sat quietly and they took the foot in their ass for a few years. Mm. A bully will get tired of beating you up. Mm. So the Asians came here and got bullied. They got beat up, they got smacked around, and they just took it. And then white guys said, ah, we, we tired of beating y'all up. Okay, mm. you can have Chinatown and you can have whatever and you can prosper here now. You cool, you took the ass with it. Yeah. Right, you took the ass with it. <laughs> right? Duck sauce. <laughs> Indi- uh, uh, Indians, people from India, yeah. came here. Took the fucking, you know, d- disrespect and the smacking around and yeah, shut the fuck up. This, and all you, that you're fucking yeah. hoily ding ding ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they took it. They took it. Yeah. And then after a while, the bully got tired of be- the bully got tired of beating them up and said, okay, you know what? Y'all could y'all could live here. It's yeah. okay. Take the 7-Eleven. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. The black man is the only one to say, yo. We ain't with it. You ain't we were slavery is after slavery ended. It was like, okay, now we have a voice. Mm-hmm. Yo, you're not treating us like that no more. We mm-hmm. stood up to the bully. And the bully will never forgive us for standing up to them. Same thing with Haiti. Haiti yeah. said, yo, we're going to fight y'all back. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why are you even over here in the first place? Haiti the, said, we're going to fight back. So own, Haiti will never get, yeah, uh, get help. They will never relief. send help to Haiti and relief to Haiti because yeah. yeah. they fought the bully back. Yeah. And blacks in America will never get let, they will never let their foot off our neck because we fought the bully back. Yeah. It's the only successful slave revolt. Was in of course. Area. And they can't, if they, if they send relief, that means they won. And, and part of the issue was with the extortion, from what I've read and to understand and to talking to different people and family is, yeah. <clears throat> they felt that if they let Haiti get away with it, then other slave people would feel like, okay. Just, yeah. How would that look towards white supremacy if they go, yeah, you white supremacy, but they won. Yeah, then it would give then people... Then it, it fucks up the image of we world domination. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It fucks up our world dominant image. Absolutely. So when, it, when, when you're talking about the whole serious thing is to really understand where you come from. Like, like we've talked about, and I, I talk about it in yeah. my act, you know, for most of my life, being born and raised in LA, growing up in Carson, mm-hmm. I was ashamed to be Haitian because there was no community, there was no 
uh, uh, sense of people really understanding where I came from. You mean fellow Haitians? Fellow Haitians, okay. absolutely. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the people wasn't really, didn't really understand the Haitian culture. Like if you live in New York, or you live in Miami, Miami. or in Boston. Tony took me to Lil Haiti. Oh, come <laughs> yeah. on, man. Took me to Lil Haiti. Yeah. I already know how y'all get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so, so for me, it was just really important as I got old, even though my parents told me all the right things and everything, mm -hmm. It was Haiti inside the house, and it was the hood outside the house. So I was just trying to fit in, mm -hmm. trying to just, you know, grow up and be a kid. You know what I mean? And be yeah. respect, you know, be accepted by everybody in the neighborhood. Even though my, we ate different food, we had listened <coughs> to different music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then I learned, I, I assimilated to black culture, okay. black African American culture, just for the simple fact that that's what I grew up in. You know what I mean? So when you hanging out with the homies and everything, you you know, I'm not listening to no compa or any, you know what I mean, or any Haitian type music. Ooh, compa. Compa. Si. Yeah. <laughs> compa. That's what I like. <laughs> I don't you even know, know what, what it is. But so it's... that's why for me right now, as I'm older, is uh -huh. I'm learning more about my culture on a on a deeper level. Right. Because uh, as far as I even as a comic when I started. Yeah. People didn't even know I was Haitian when I first started. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, they had no idea. And then after the earthquake in 2010, and after people like Russell Peters and Johnny Sanchez, like, yo, how come you don't talk about being Haitian, man? I was like, I tried when I first started, because that's your instinct yeah. to talk about what you know. Well, there's a few Haitian comics. Mike yeah. Estimine, France. Yeah. Mike Estimine, Will Sylvan, Will Sylvan, 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 yeah. Franz Cassius. Cassius. Cassius yeah. Somebody else, it might be. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's more. But there was none in LA. So let me ask you a question, because this, you know, this alpha shit here. So I want to meet a chick. <laughs> how do we pick her up? And is it, do y'all speak Creole or French? What do y'all? Yeah. How do you say? So if you, how do you say in your right in your language? How do you say? So how, let me take you to dinner. <laughs> Man, do that again. That's smooth right there. This, this is Creole. <laughs> do you want to go out? To eat. Ou besoin de manger? Besoin de manger? Ou be? Ou be? Zouin? Zouin? Al? Al? Man? Man? Je? Je? She? Ou be? Ou be? Al? Man? Je? She? How do you say you ain't funny in, 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 uh, in Creole? Um, I don't know that because uh, no one has ever said that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. I've yeah, never I heard that. I don't before. know what that sounds like. <laughs> I don't know what that sounds like. <laughs> I don't know what that sounds like. <laughs> but here's what's crazy. How do you say, do you want to eat? We just said that. That was it. I say yeah. you want to take you out on a dinner, but yeah, you. Yeah, same thing. Gotcha. You want to okay, eat. Cool. Cool. Um, I, I just think for me, is when I get so excited when I meet other Haitians mm -hmm. because I didn't grow up around any other Haitians. So the running joke is like if I'm working with, uh, with Russell and we see a Haitian, yeah. like, like I met Andre Berto. Haitian. Haitian boxer. That's yeah. the homie, yeah. He's yeah, homie. Yeah, homie. And uh, we was at the uh, Mayweather fight, and Russell saw Andre Berger, like, yo, this is my boy Ruben Paul, he funny as hell, he Haitian. And he was like, uh, okay. Because he's from Miami, he been around Haitians. <laughs> and then Russell goes, how come, hey, how come you're so excited to meet them, but they're never excited to meet you? I go, because I didn't grow up around Haitians. So for me, mm -hmm. any, and plus my, my parents passed, so any connection I can get mm. to my home. culture home, yeah. means a lot to me because yeah. my Creole isn't as good as it should be. Like, like I was talking to a Kango from UTFO. Yeah, yeah. He's Haitian. Oh, what? Yeah, 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 dude. UTFO. Kango. Kango with the Jerry curl back in the day. Yes, sir. Look like Kango he was on is a veteran. Yes. That means I'm better than. Coolest, <laughs> one of the coolest people I know, but he was Haitian. And he, he actually showed me a video of Wyclef talking about, man, I wish you'd have uh, said on one of them albums that you was Haitian. It would have saved me a lot of ass whoopings and blah, 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 blah. And, and on top of that, having some pride about yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why images are important. When you see people who look like you or who came from where you right, came from, right, and you yeah, see right, them successful, right, absolutely. you know what I mean? Okay. It lets you know, oh, if he can do it, I can do it. And it was interesting because Kango was like, bro, I was a dancer. Because you know, I used to dance for yeah, Houdini yeah, yeah, and yeah. do all, you know yeah, that story. Yeah. And he was like, I was just trying to live and survive. Like, I didn't choose to be a role model for Haiti. Like, I didn't know. But I'm telling him from my perspective, like, how much pride, like, Wyclef gave me. Because I didn't have anybody to point to. 
Gotcha. You know what I mean? Right. So if I, so if I was to say this, right? So when when Tone took me to, I think that was the first time I went to Miami. He took me to. Oh wow. He took me to Miami. I've been to Miami with him. He took me to Low Haiti. <laughs> And I was like, oh, this is a dangerous place. We about to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, listen to these cameras. Let me tell you all something. Everybody that's part of Grady Gang and love Alpha Nation, Hole in the Walls is the best yeah. food yeah. and the yeah. best fun and the drinks yeah. are the best. I don't care nothing about the five-star <clears throat> shit. If it's the Hole in the Wall, best experience ever, yeah. right? So Tony takes me down there, and they just love him. Oh, like, man. people... Like, love this snake. Like, you, you know. I remember one time I heard in the interview, I'm gonna let you get back. Go ahead, right, go I'm gonna let you get right back. One time in the interview, I heard Tupac say, I will never be afraid of people that look like me. One, and that one. shit hit me How old dead was when you center heard that? in my heart. Like, not, not, when did Pac die? 90, 97? 96? 96, 96, 97? 96, 96. And he said it in like, I heard it in like 95. And since that day, I'm like, that's the way to live. Yeah. Why would you yeah. be around your own people and be like, no, security, keep them away? Mm -hmm. So that's why we go to the hood. Whenever you, you and me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know. I know. So we in yeah. Brooklyn. I take him to. Yeah. What? Footprints. I take him to fucking. No, I take him to Blake and Sutter. Yeah. I take him to Nickabaca <laughs> Avenue. We right there. Like, yo, these, they look like us. Why, yeah. would we, why would we ever be like, it's they can't. But so you know, we in Miami. I'm like, yo, Grady, we going over here to eat because the food going to be all that. The people going to look shit. like. That's exactly why. Because it's like, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to treat the people that look like me worse than the motherfuckers that really have hate for me. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? And wow. the, the, the good thing about it wow. was. That's important. He took me down. Exactly. And, like, he was, he, you Opening up or like working with him because he he corrected me in Miami. I said thanks for you know let me open up for it. He said come in son. You ain't opening up for me. You on the team, nigga. We yeah. working together. It's one like, it's one unit. I said yeah. what? He said no. Yeah, we work together, yo. He said where you stay at? I said I stay at the hotel you stay. He said and he just walked in. That was it. he just walked in. He just left. Yeah. He said where you stay at? I said I'm staying at the hotel you stay. And he just left. And I was like oh shit. He just told me like we equal. Yeah. I, let me say this, and again, I know Tom's like, well, let's not make this long, but we're just having a conversation amongst friends. Like, we're all headliners here. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just make this clear. Um, so this is when Tom was talking about having somebody strong opening up for him. Yeah. I've gone on the road to feature for him. He's even come and featured for me on the road. That's which absolutely. Is, That's yeah. dope. And one thing about Tom is it's like, when you're on the road with him, he makes sure that you are treated just like That's him. That's the rule. You That's won't treat rule. my feature no less than you treat me. Yeah. Man, you did and that. Even you with will the money. not do that. And even with, with the, the money. money. Like, you, we all, yeah. for you guys don't know, a lot of times the feature money isn't very good. Niggas Tone crumbs. will put a lot of extra on it for me. And no offense to you, Grady, whenever Tone has a feature on the road, if I needed some bread... They I'm not get canceled. Yeah, I said I'm not going. And I'm coming. Yeah. Only I understood that though. I understood. Only Jordan Rock. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> only Jordan Rock. The Salute baby Jordan. Brother. Salute the bro. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else would get canceled. Like, like yeah. if I call Tom, like, yo, Tom, I, I see you and blah blah. He like, say no. Here's more. a perfect example. Perfect example. <laughs> perfect example. And then we're gonna get back to. It. Yeah. <laughs> so I get a phone call about doing a show in Qatar. For the truth. Oh. Qatar. Yeah, yeah. I already know. I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Qatar. That's Qatar. it? Qatar. 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 They send the offer. Good. Bag. Bag. Yeah. Right? Hey. Shout out to the USO. Got to fly, you know, halfway around the world. Got to fly from LA yeah. to Turkey, from Turkey <laughs> to Qatar. The offer's ridiculous. It's one show, one night. I could go get this half of, I could get a it's, and come I right back. It was great get money. Get some money. Yeah, it was great money. So I go, all right, well, since I have this opportunity, let me see what I can do with it, if I can yeah. push it. There you go. Hey, I'm going to bring... Your own. I want to bring my opener. Yeah. Well, you know, the budget is... That it, listen, man, y'all just sent the offer. Y'all you, you, want me, clearly. Yeah. This number, this number says, says that y'all so. want me. Yeah. Yes. And he told me the number. The I'm number saying crazy. I'm going to bring my opener. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the stipulation. All right, bet. Bring your opener. But uh, we can only pay him this much. Okay, that's fine, because with this number y'all paying me, I'm going to pay him, too. That's, that's yeah. what you do. I call Rube, son, we going to Qatar. Not even, yo, you, you, Rube, you free this date to this date? Yeah, we going, going to yo, Qatar. Yo, we going to Qatar. that out, nigga. Yeah. Boom, we on a plane, we eating, we drinking, we chilling first class. <laughs> he like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, let's, let's just go. I got you. Come on. We yeah. land in, in Turkey. Yeah. We got to stay in Turkey, in the airport in Turkey. 
Oh, it's, when we had the rooms. And in the, the airport. airport in Turkey is so yeah. is so uh, new. It's, it's, it's yeah. brand new. Yeah, wherever the terminal they, was. They new. have the terminal is so new. They have a hotel in the terminal that if you have a long stay, a stay over, a layover over five hours, something like that. Yeah. If you have a layover layover over five hours, they give you a room. So we had a seven hour layover. So me and him go. Eat. They got a restaurant in there. They we, we show them the pass and all that. They feed us so, for you free. Show boarding pass, we get first drinks class, for free. Yeah. We go to the room. He get a room. I get a room. I call. We got phones. Yo, you good? You good? <laughs> we crash out for five hours. Get up. Let's go back and continue the flight. Yeah. I gotta get that funny. Dude. Yo, we go to Qatar. <laughs> That's how funny I gotta get. I we gotta go to, get that funny. We go no. to Qatar. The troops pick us up at the airport. They all American. Everybody's American. So the yeah. show is. It's over there, but it's it's over for the here truth. too. It's over the truth. It's over for the truth. Man, we, can we let, let me tell you a funny story. No, no, talk about the five minutes before show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you you know I do a lot of international stuff just on GP. Tell I do. Work. I don't travel international as much as him. Yeah, I will so say that right so now. That was another you and reason. Tony, Wo you and Tony Woods. Me and to yeah, my big brother Tony, Tony, Tony Woods. My big brother. About like this. Shout Salute out Tony, Tony Woods, man, man, the genius of What's Tony Woods. What's up, Shouty? Tony Woods. Hey, Shouty. Yo, you drinking snake? What's up, man? You drinking snake pits? What's up, man? I went to Amsterdam with Tony Woods. That nigga said, "You don't smoke? Well, what you doing here?" Yeah, we did the same together. But Tony, so. We go do the gig, whatever, and I'm like, Tom, we fine. We go, we do everything. So we get to the show, and you know, I'm just a very detailed person. I like all the information. I like to. So You're the businessman on it. Yeah, he is. He is. The businessman. So I'm, I'm like this. I'm in guitar. I'm like yeah. <laughs> so we in the grill room before the show is about to start. They bring us food and all this type of stuff. Right. I don't eat before the show. Yeah. Tone don't care. Tone eating and everything. And I go, Hey, can I ask you guys this question? Tone's eating, and they go, yeah, sure. I go, are there any language restrictions? That's what you said? Yeah, and Tone, and you know, Tone eating. And Tone over there eating. Wait, but that's the speech, nigga? Yeah, nigga. But listen, listen. Oh. And she goes, yeah, there is. <laughs> she goes, they didn't tell you guys? And then Tone went, there is? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, they didn't tell you guys? There's no profanity whatsoever. Dude, so she, she goes, got it. She, she goes, she goes, I sent all the information to Tony's agent. She's like, there's no profanity, there's no sexual references or whatever. No this drug is, references. No drug references. This is five minutes before the show. And in my mind, it's going, have y'all niggas seen Tony Rock? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he do. That's all he do. That's why he is. That's why he is. The crazy thing, you know what? This is what I want to say to Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come sorry. On, come on. <laughs> Let me say something. I'm, I'm so being honest right now. Oh, I was about to say on the strength of Brooklyn, but everybody don't know what I mean when I say that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so they said that five minutes before the show started. Show started, Rube goes up. I'm yeah. opening. So I'm first. It's us two, and they want the show to be an hour and a half long? They want the show to be an hour and a oh, half. Oh, was it two hours? An hour, hour and a half. half. Was, they want the show to be an hour and a half long. So he got to do 30. He got to do 30. I got to do Yeah. But Tone's like, Nigga, you doing 45? I said, you're doing 45, I'll do 45. Let's get out of here. We Let's get out of here. Because I'm cutting my whole act up now. But yo, I will be so honest when I tell you. Rube went on, and I don't know what he did mentally to switch his set. I don't know if it's, if it's easy for him to do or not. 45, easy. Oh. Not a curse word. Bodied the... It, was, it wasn't even an arena. It was like a... It was huge. It was like an outdoor... It was like, outdoor. It was like the Hollywood Bowl. It was crazy, Shit. crazy. And yo, I'm backstage watching Rube like, he yo, he's killing and didn't say one curse word. And let me say this as a comic, and, and talk, we, me and him talked about this after the show. I'm into the story. Shit, I'm listening. There's a spotlight on you. Oh my God. And yeah, the spotlight yeah. was so bright, you can't see you can't the audience. see the people. So even as a comic, sometimes as comedians, sometimes when we're on stage, yeah. we might want to talk to him. You might want to talk to the audience, make a yeah, connection, yeah, make a reference yeah. or whatever. So for that to be taken away from you also made it even that much harder to do. So I'm grateful enough that I was able to switch gears right, bef right before uh, the show went on. But to Tony's credit also is, you know, this is what we do. Yeah. No, we both, we both did it. We both yeah. did it. But I say, I, I'm going to make sure I make the point that when I was watching him, I yeah. realized, and I tell him this all the time. I tell him, we talk all the time. I, yeah. That night, I was like, yo, dude, I really saw, like, something different. And I saw you go to another... Level. I've seen yeah. Rube go to another level several times. Yeah. We've been on the road, and the room's been... We, this, the bike went out, or the mm -hmm. room was too loud, or a fight broke out. And I seen him handle it easy. Yeah. But that night, to be told five minutes beforehand, and then he went out and did it, I was in the back like, yo, dude, like, I'm a fan of his 
Everybody know that. This is one of my favorite comics, yeah. one of my favorite people on the planet. Yeah. But I was watching him like, yo, dude, you really took it there tonight. You really shift another gear, and it was impressive to watch as a fan of comedy. Yeah, of course. My brother, of course, but as a fan of comedy, I was like, yo, that was impressive to watch. Well, well, and then I went out and did my thing, and at the end of the night, we was both sitting there like, yo, we, we, we did that, we, we did right that shit. Like, we, we did, did that so, shit. So let's say this, right? So you get a chance to go overseas, and I already see his you know, page, or I call him. He ain't going to talk to everybody. Nah. If I call you... You don't really answer your phone. Tone but don't you answer the phone. Tone, do not. To book this motherfucker this, for this shit. He's the wordest. He had to go through me to book this I said, tell that skinny nigga, this what time we going on, right? And he the first dude here, right? So I'm like, look, I'm like, dude, get, get that nigga on the phone, man. What is he doing? He texted me. He texted me. Yo, you supposed to be ready? I said, yeah, he sent me a text. I ain't know the fuck you was talking about. He's like, yeah, we on Wednesday. I'm like, oh, word? That's real? Okay, let's go. <laughs> This is shit he do. Tony Rock do shit like this. Like, it's he, not... He do it to me, too. Tony. No, no, I didn't take it personal when yeah, I cried. Yeah, I was like, yo, yeah. this ain't dude, man. Like, fuck COVID. Why he doing this? Like, he said, yo, I love this nigga. Why he doing this? He was like, yo, yo Tony gonna we be We on Wednesday. Oh, shit. For real, though? And he ain't say nothing. Then tonight, he the first dude. I'm like... I just couldn't do another hug. And they're like, look. Right, because you, you, you know it's love. So yeah, if you say, say date and time... I will confirm it with Rube, <laughs> and then I will be there. Here, here's the thing, though. This is a character conversation, and we all have this in common. That's why we're all friends. Mm -hmm. If Tone tells you he's going to do something, he's gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. if Ruben yeah, Paul yeah. tells you yeah, he's yeah. going to do something, yeah. if Grady tells you he's yeah, going to do we'll something, yeah. nigga, I told you once, I ain't got to tell you three times. Right, gonna do right, it. That's right, true. right. That's, that's what I, and, and I understand as a producer. I'm the type of person, like, if you got to keep saying it, then it's like, damn, you don't trust me to be yeah. there. Like, I, and, and, that's a, and I understand I the I got position it. you're in as a producer, because I produce shows, mm -hmm. but I have to tell people, because people will call me for Tony, like, yo, Tony said he'd do it, but I ain't heard back from him. I go, he told you he was going to do it? Right. They're like, yeah. I said, well, don't worry about it. He's never going to not show up without telling you he's not going the, to show the, up. The, the, the crazy thing about this cat, he don't say much. And I think that's why we got along. Mm -hmm. You don't talk much. Mm -hmm. Comedy, we could go all day. We yeah, can talk right, about stand up. Right. Unless it's something I want to talk about. Yeah. Right? We can, talk, we can talk stand up five hours straight. Ain't nobody going to lose nothing. We just going to be on it, right? So. The crazy thing about you two cats, right? And I remember when it was a big fuss about cats doing his show. So everybody was like, well, Ruben only booked the same dudes. Ruben booked the same people, booked the same people. I said, well, listen, have you made yourself visible for him to be like, hey, let me see this dude? Because right. Right. I was doing a bit about, uh, like, I was, I, it was a bit, I was calling it back, like, shit. I would get on my, my heels, I'd be like, I don't like, Going shit. someplace yeah, and yeah. I'll be like, shit. Yeah. shit. And I'll just keep saying, so Tony, stop. So he had his crew, now y'all crew is, and he stopped at the comedy store. He's like, yo, we point. Then he comes sit down and he's like, yo, 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 tell everybody, like, yo, watch this nigga, watch this nigga. So when he said this shit, he's like, yo, nigga, we're gonna work. And then we seen each other again. We see each other again, we see each other again. He was like, yo, we're gonna work, we're gonna work, we're gonna work. So when then I, when you booked me on Ruby Tuesday, and I was like, Ruben, you multiple, are, multiple times, right? by the way. Yeah. You said, yeah. come on. I said, Ruben, your room is like the United Nations, okay? My shit is for my people and people that like to laugh. Mm -hmm. Ruben said, they're going to love you. I said, all right, nigga. You know how you got to pay you. I said, if I bomb, you keep the bread. Wow. He said, wow. nigga, you ain't going to bomb. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I got up on that nigga's show. And destroy. You kept reminding. Remember, I kept making you repeat a word, what, a name. What was the name? It was a, it was a it, it, journey. It was a was it the journey? It was a journey. It was a journey joint. Um, you you kept uh, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Yeah, I, it was. A, I don't know what the fuck. I kept. You saying, kept saying, and the whole audience. The audience was loving it, Tony. I'm, I, like I couldn't no, follow the bit. Back over Wait, hold up. I'm about to fuck his head up. The night I saw him at the comedy store, I was on the show too. I was oh, closing shit, the show. You was. I was closing the show. So when I came in and he was on stage, we was coming, we was just getting there. It looked so like I was from the stage, about, yo, 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 sit down, let's watch him. And he was doing it like, yo, shit. I don't yeah. know what the fuck. Shit. So I get up, now it's like three, four comics later, oh, I get up to close the show. Back. And I oh, called back. his joke back. Sure yeah. did. And he was in the room. So I didn't want him to think like, mm -mm. like I, we didn't know each other. So I was like, I don't know if he's going to think like, damn, this nigga doing my jokes. Something. But I called it back like, yo, you know what my man said earlier? Shit. And, then, and the room exploded. Explode. So when the show was over, I went to him like, yo, dude, like, I'm just, that was my way of saying, like, that was funny as shit to me. And I wanted you to know, I'm like, I was paying homage to your joke. Yeah, you were. And that's when we talked and said, yo, we should do, we should something. do something. Yeah. And then we was on the road, like, 
And a let, month later, maybe two weeks let, later, let we me, was on the road together. Let me make something clear, because somebody watching might go, well, these guys are friends. That's why they're supporting each other and giving each other props. The thing that's very different about the three of us is we love stand-up comedy so much yeah. that we would never, like, you ain't never, even if somebody's my friend, if, if somebody's my friend and they're not funny, I'm not going to pretend that they're funny. If, right. if I don't believe they are. Right. Yeah, we can you. still be friends. Which or, is or not whatever. the norm in this town. Which is not yes. the norm in this in town. In this town, if that's your man, yeah. you gotta go, yeah, you killed it. Yeah. You gotta you gotta stroke his ego. Yeah, so yeah. we're very honest with this. So this is really true mutual respect. And if we didn't have respect for each other, we wouldn't even bring up the conversation. Right. Right. The, the, the cool thing about it is I'm behind you guys as far as being in the game, right? Mm -hmm. So Something that Deion Cole told me, he was like, yo, nigga, you come out, you know, New York, I mean, L.A., New York, wherever you go, you want to make sure that we see you. And he walked off. So I'm like, why is he talking like that? Like, nigga, I'm trying to get five, ten minutes, right? So everybody that's a comic that's just like, yo, I want to work with you, Ruben, or I want to do your show, or let me open up for you, Tony, let's mm -hmm. do another. I had to be serious with myself. Just to be able to be like, if you call and reach out and be like, yo, nigga, you got to do Ruby Tuesday. Or Rock say, come on, we doing Cleveland. Come on, we doing Miami. We doing Houston. We did Dallas. That nigga, that one oh, we was, We was, we ran across him. the country. I know. And so I'm like, oh, he really fucked with me. Yeah. But then he was like, listen, if a headliner don't have you stay with him, he don't really fuck with you. Absolutely. It's him. So I'm yeah. like, it's going over your head because you just, I'm worrying about the show. You just started to perform. So let me tell you what this asshole do. We in Miami. We do the show in <laughs> Miami. He is an asshole. He is very much of an asshole. Yeah. I go out on stage, I murder. Like, in comics I always say, I kill the show. Nigga, I murdered this shit. Because I was speaking patois. I was giving it all. Yeah. He's doing it. So, you, because I had a deep voice, and I was like, what up? And then them motherfuckers was like, whoa. Then the bitches started, woo, going back and forth. Woo. <laughs> That's why he laughed. So the nigga come out. He said, what grade he at? He said, you won, okay, you won. Like in front of everybody, like, yeah, hold on, hold on. You won, nigga, you got it. Now go back, go sit down. You know, that type of shit. It was, yeah. it was fun and shit, everybody laughed and shit. No, was he was like, in the room. Yeah, I, I can say he's the in set. the room. I'm watching the set. I'm like, nigga, you can leave now. You, <laughs> you won already, you you, won, nigga. The bitches scream, they, they love your bed. Let me work, like, get the fuck out the room so I can work. Yeah. Like, if you in the room, bitches is like this, like, oh, he's totally funny, but what a great he What a dude with the shades. Like, nigga, leave so I can work. What that nigga with the shades. I'm like, yo, I'm going. I'm going to the shades at. I'm laughing at the shades. But that's the thing. Like, as a headliner, mm -hmm. you still got to have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. You, you got to have fun with you it. You it's like, yeah, you, you contractually obligated to do this amount of time yeah. and you all that stuff, but you still got to have fun with it. That's why I... That's why I fought to bring my own feature, because I want to be on the road. If I got to be away from my family yeah. and out of my very nice house, yeah. I, I want to be on the road having fun. Let me say this about and wait, let me, One go more ahead, thing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just a point Remind, I want to make. This is, what they, this is what we do all the time. So not, you know, not related to what we're talking about right now or the show or anything like that. But we worked for a year, two a years? A whole year. A whole year together. A whole year. And the only reason, I want people to be like, I don't want people to watch and go, well, why are they not working now? The only reason why we don't work together now is because I knew Grady was worth more. Yeah. I knew the money he was getting with me wasn't <laughs> enough for him. Same I knew, Same. I knew he deserved more money. Yeah. And when I bring you on the road as my feature, the club pays you. Yeah. I can put a little extra on it, but the club... He puts a little extra on it. The club does. ultimately <laughs> pays the yeah. feature. And I knew he was worth so much more, so I was like, yo, dude, you could do more damage Without me, yeah. Yeah. then with me, that's why we don't work. That's why me and Rube don't go out as much. Yeah, because I know he's worth so much more. Yeah. Well, the thing that's cool about Rock, two points I want to make. The thing that's cool about Rock is he does realize that and he does empower you. And that was one of the reasons. Like Rock, well, Rock will call me. He's like, nigga, like in January. Usually yeah. in January, he go like, yo, dude, I like, I got like 40 dates. Whatever ones you want to do, you want to do. But he's like, but I, if you don't want to do it, I understand. I totally understand. Right. I totally and understand. And my thing, and he's like, and as a friend, that's why I love him. He's like, you don't want to put a little extra on it. I'm like, yeah, man, but I don't want you to have to come out of your pocket. Like, you earn this. Yeah, that's your, your money. That's your bread. That's yeah. your bread. Like, I'm cool. I'm a headliner. I Teach can make me how to fish. Own. Right. Exactly. Right. Teach me how right. to fish. Yeah. But the and that's what we was, we, you yeah. and I what you said. started, yeah. I started like, listen, let me tell you something. This is how. This is how it works, Brady. Like, yeah. you don't go out as much as me. Listen, yeah. come in, wait staff, got to be a fan of yours. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. 
Timing, always be on time, respectful. This, like, I, I just started the stuff yeah. I knew that I could tell him and just hand it to him. I gave him everything. And one thing that we have in common, and this is this is about you and Ruby Tuesdays and him taking you on the road. It's all under the same umbrella. Okay. Is I'm listening. I told you on the phone call when I had to convince you to do Ruby Tuesdays. Is even though your comedy in your head is just for black people, or you perform. I think I we said all mine's is for a blue collar. Yes. That's what I want to say. Absolutely. But it's black people. Absolutely. Majority. Okay, wait, wait. And I think me and Tony feel the same on that is as black men presenting ourselves, being proud of who we are, it's always gonna come from a black <clears throat> perspective. We ain't all no coon in our no, time shit. All. But the thing I saw about your comedy, and one thing that me and Tony, and even being friends with Tony, even though I was kind of already on it, but just meeting somebody with the same mentality is like, Oh, nigga, I don't give a fuck who's in the audience, white, black, Asian, Latino, funny Middle funny. Eastern. Funny, funny is funny. Funny bro. And you got to be able to play different rooms. But I had already, DL had already put that in my, my, my mind when I was coming up. Like, Rube, you can play in front of anybody because that's how you write. Mm -hmm. So when I saw you perform, I'm like, dude, you know you can do more than just Mo' Better Mondays and Fat Tuesdays in the yeah. Comedy Union. You did? And you talking like, about like an hour. Yeah. He was like... Yeah. R really, bro? Yeah, that's what you I'm said. like, yeah. yo, dude, let me tell you, these crack, I mean, these. <laughs> Keep going, Nick. These men. Give it a little jazz behind it. Put a little yeah. jazz in you can say it. You want to jazz it? Give it a boop boop. These crackers. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, these, <laughs> main, <laughs> these mainstream yeah. audiences. There you go. These mainstream audiences, because funny is funny, dude. Yeah. And, and, and I told you this. You said your, your audience was, Yo, was emailing, like, who's the dude with yeah. the beard? Yeah. Who's the dude with the beard? And, and the thing, and, and beyond that, because I'm not saying I discount the audience, but the thing that made me feel good, because with Ruby Tuesdays, the mentality is the best of the best perform on the stage, yeah. no matter what race you are. Yeah. So when I had white boys and Latinos, and everybody's like, yo, who's the dude with the beard? <laughs> Other comedians. Oh, wow. I'm not talking about audience members. Yeah. Amir I'm Khan was that night, and he was, Amir, he was like, what's up, great? I'm Amir, like, hey, how you doing? I ain't, I'm like, that's Sarah Tiana. Uh, 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 what, what's, uh, Willie what's Barcina. My, Willie Barcina. Yeah. Um, uh, Jamie, Jay, Kimini, Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> He's done the show. That's Tony's man. Paulie Shaw. No, <laughs> <Yeah. I'm> fucking <laughs> with you. <laughs> Tony's an asshole. But, but all these comics that had never seen you before, yeah. saw you and respected your craft. Mm. They respect, Sarah Tiana was like, brilliant. oh, I know Grady. Yeah, she brilliant. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so that made me feel good because I felt like I was introducing people. Like even Rock, I can't remember what comic it was. He's like, yo, that motherfucker was pretty funny, dude. Like, where'd you find him? And that mm, was what mm. Ruby Tuesdays was about is just bringing uh, all- Jesus Soto. Yes, Jesus. Jesus Soto. And shout out even Jesus. Dominique called and was like, Grady, you got to do it. I agree. Because I didn't want to do it. Shout out to Dominique. Shout out to Dominique. Dominique. She said, Grady. Shout out to Dominique. Dominique. She yo. said, don't hold back, nigga. Shout out to Dominique. She was like, little brother, don't hold back. Ruby Tuesday, Ruby going to set you up. Yo, son. Dominique, I see Dominique. Dominique said, Tone, you know why I fuck with you, Tone? <laughs> I yeah. love that woman. Cause you just tone. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just tone. You don't give a fuck about none of this shit. You just tone. You come in here like, I'm just tone. So if you guys don't know Dominique. You should. You should. You should. Uh, female comic. Brilliant. 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 Funny. When I say brilliant, we're not, saying, we're not Super saying funny. brilliant as a woman. We're saying brilliant, brilliant as, as a, a comedian. comedian. And um, I remember she called me, she's like, bro. I said, what's up, Nick? Rock said he gonna fuck with me, bro. <laughs> we supposed to do something together. I said if Rock said he gonna do it, Nick, he, he gonna do it. But you notice everybody has to call me <laughs> to get to this nigga. That's what's in, that's in, what's infuriating. It's like yo, Tom, here's the, here's the thing that people for, for years. Yeah. I used to get phone calls. From motherfuckers I don't know about him. Because Tony used to give my number out to everybody. It was oh, the only shit. number I could remember quickly like that. Exactly. So some random motherfucker. I'm three, in, two, three. I'm in motherfucking. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in St. Louis. I'm in St. Louis. And yeah. they're like, yo, I got this show I want to do. You, Earthquake, Mike Epps, Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy. I'm like, yeah, call me. Three, two, three, nine, one, five. And I was just throw room number out quickly. 
And the motherfucker would call. We were like, yo, some motherfucker just called me yeah, about a talk. show with you and Jesus and Mike Jordan. And I'm like, yeah, son, I, I was trying to get him away from me. Uh, you, know, you know what I started doing, Grady? What? They called me and go, hey, man, Tony don't fuck with you. He gave you the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I, I want to say this to you. I want to say this to you because I found out you got a, a you know, you, you in the dad's club now. Yes. Right? So yes. Yes. I want to tell you, congratulations, brother. Thank you, brother. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Salute to you on that. Thank man. you, brother. Thank Salute. you. Man. Yes. Right? And a great father. Yes. yes. So a look, great father. Yes. I see him on on Instagram with the with the beautiful Charleston. Man, Charleston. So yes. when I see the baby, right? So some just say, okay, I gotta bring big dude on the show. You know, I already, you know. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'm gonna get Ruben, I'm gonna get Tony. So I go That's to my godson, by the way. He got so I go yeah. to the and IG. I sent, I sent him a long two-page text on why he was the godfather. Man, that shit choked me up, but we we, we, we don't get into that. that. So, yeah, no, we're so not going to get into that. This is what I want to say, right? So, Tone, because people, when men finally get theirs, and you didn't do it like me. I went early. Right. Went raw into the girls. Right. I'm going to get you a baby. <clears throat> Love you, love you. It's that go beard, raw. nigga. And then I'm going to go raw on you, right? It's that beard. <laughs> that bitch said, bust in a grave. Bust in a grave, right? I'm, I'm the, the, the beard, look, the beard the beard out. The beard squeezed the nut out. The beard went like this and the nut came out. The beard said, ugh. He was like, yeah, ugh. The beard be like, we're going to run a train on this bitch, Grady. <laughs> the beard said, oh, bitch, you about to have a baby. <laughs> so, so, you know, you waited, bro. Yes. You really waited, right? So I said, he did some white man shit. White men wait till they can really take afford, care, right? Afford this beautiful baby, right? So I said when I seen the picture with the baby on the pillow. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I seen you doing the, uh, your, 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 you know, your podcast, fatherhood rocks. Your father, yeah. rock. I want to have you on, by the way. So I said, okay, I hear daddy now. So he gonna be different, right? So, so rock. I'm a father of three. You guys know this, right? So how is it? How is being a fatherhood? So is is it? Woo! Is it? Uh, oh, you ain't got. Yeah, yeah go, go, go. Before, before, before he said, before, ask him the question, and I'm gonna say something before so, he answers. Okay. <clears throat> being Tony Rock, countless TV shows, specials, business ventures. You do a beautiful polka night when you do Rock yeah, the Weekend. The, uh, the, rock uh, the Night Weekend. The Christmas. Uh, the, the Christmas. The toy giveaway. Toy giveaway. Yeah. Right. And then you do a casino night, poker casino night, night, I'm right, sorry. Right. So he does all this. And you, you cannot get in here unless you are suited. You, are, you have to be suited and booted to, to enter right. this joint, right? Mm -hmm. So We have a standard we set when we, right. you have, we you don't have, come you have down a from the standard. standard. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing is that you waited, bro, right? And, I mean, I'm not asking your age. It's none of my business. Right. But you waited. Was that what you intended to do, or was it? Oh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. You know, let me go, say this go, before, go, go, go. before he says that. Mm -hmm. we have, we've clearly established how close we are. Yes. Right. I can't even tell you how happy I am for him to be a father, because we've had these conversations yeah. prior to him even having a child. Yeah. And knowing the type of father that he would be based on his character as a man and who he is. Yeah. So to see him have a kid, like people say, yo, Tone is in love with this baby, like it's some weird thing, like you should mm -hmm. be in love with your baby. Yeah. But just to see like, to have it, for him to be a father, yeah. he's, you want him raising a child. Absolutely. He's the type of person you want, his child is going to be a benefit to this world. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people have kids, like, like you said, and I know you're a great father, Grady, but some people have kids young, and, yeah. but I knew he was going to be a great father, and he's taking on the responsibility, and he's going to raise a good human being. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that, to me, is what touches me. And then when he hit me up and asked me to be the goth, when he asked me to be the godfather to his kid, yeah. I know how important You're all right. he lost his father. Yeah. I lost mine. I lost mine. I yeah. lost my mother. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't be happier. 
That was beautiful. So, that was beautiful. Woo! All right, so... You got to follow that, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to follow so, that. So, uh, 